Hammers up, everyone. Tally here, giving you a little Warlords of Draenor action. Prot Paladin. Protection Paladin. The People's blah, Paladin. Okay, anyway, this is a Tauren. He looks pretty cool. New animations. By the way, you gotta see this. Hold on. You guys have to see this. This is like ghetto, but whatever. Look at that. Look at that. Look at how happy he is. Yeah, he's feeling. Look at that. right there. He's listening to the song. Eyes are closed. He's all good. He's all good. Wait for the hook. Wait for the hook of the song. And then he's gonna start jam- What the fuck's up with the horns through the shoulders? That looks kind of like ridiculous. Looks a little crazy. Can you please get to the hook of the song? Boom, it drop, it drop, there you go. And he's happy. Wow, he doesn't, doesn't do it as long as he used to. Anyway, that's what she said. Alrighty. Protection Paladin. Now, I could sit here and go through every spec, every class of, every, of the whole entire World of Warcraft, but as you know, I focus mainly on tanking in this game. Now, I have no idea what tank I'm gonna be playing in Warlords of Draenor. I've spoken to my GM, and we've said that Brewmaster seems to be the overall best tank in the game. I completely agree, especially with the changes to Stagger, but I still have to test out my Paladin and the Brewmaster and Bear Tanking. You guys have not even seen Bear Tanking. Bear Tanking is ridiculous right now. And Warrior and Death Knight, whatever. But Death Knights are more powerful, but they're more confusing to play, at least in my opinion. So what has changed for the Paladin? Well... Not much, actually. Um, let's see. Oh, what the- oh, oh yeah, what did Blizzard do? Yes, I think they took away our wings. Avenging Wrath gone. God damn it. Why? I don't know. Uh, they took out Devotion Aura. Devo Aura was actually our kind of like bread and butter for raid utility. Uh, you know, a lot of guilds taken prop paladins and prop warriors because of their rallying cry and their Devotion Aura. Now, they don't do any of that because now they've taken away basically every, I guess raid utility ability that we have in terms of helping the raid so we no longer have diva aura uh warriors no longer have rally and cry i think death knight still can use anti-magic zone for because it's part of their talents they could use it for uh melee or if people stack for an ability i don't know we still have little abilities like lights hammer or whatnot that uh just heals people that i mean i've used that in several fights in soo but yeah, Avenging Wrath gone, and Devo Aura finito. Now, as you're leveling from 90 to 100, instead of getting new abilities, which is what Blizzard, you know, always used to do, you know, level 91, you get, like, you know, the Blinding Light or whatever, then blah, 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 blah. What happens now is, as we level, let me show you guys, from 90 to 100, our current abilities become empowered. So our, abil our abilities become stronger as we level up. Now, Vengeance has changed... So, hiring the damage that we do won't make us, like, super OP damage dealers, but it won't let us do a decent amount of damage, which, by the way, on a side note, different we uh, video, will help us with Protection Paladin PvP. Blizzard just recently made a big blue post talking about how they want Prot to be viable in PvP, so I'm super excited. I've already done some duels with peeps outside of Orgrimmar and this level 100 character. By the way, I'm level 100 because Mechatork is the only 100 level PvP server available. So they're testing out stuff. But, so I'm out of breath, just came back from the gym, you know, working out. Uh, so they changed Vengeance, it's now just called Resolve, which increases your healing and absorption done to yourself by 8%. Damage taken in the last 10 seconds, zero. So it, it, it's it's pretty much new. Um, they, they didn't want to keep the whole attack power thing going because eventually, I'm sorry, we would just become way too powerful. So increases your healing and absorption done to yourself based on stamina and damage taken best uh, before avoidance and mitigation in the last 10 seconds. So no longer will the bosses hitting us for 9 million make us do a shit ton more damage. But our mastery for every tank will allow us to get our attack power higher. So let's take a look at mastery, which is still Divine Bulwark. Increases the damage reduction of your shield of the Righteous by 15%, um, percent, adds 50% to your Bastion of Glory, and increases your chance to block melee attacks by 15%. Also increases your attack power by 15%. So the higher our mastery, the more attack power, the more damage we do, the more we mitigate, which is pretty cool. So without all that being said, so as I was saying before, from level 90 to 100, we get empowered abilities. So if we look here under the general tab, it will show you what all the empowered abilities are for each of your abilities. So uh, empowered Avenger Shield uh, allows you to strike two additional targets. It's now four total. Now, I'm not sure, but I believe Avenger Shield before in Mr. Pandaria interrupted 
all the targets that you hit with it. I believe now it only interrupts the target that you're targeting and not the other ones. Maybe I've had it wrong the entire time. I don't know. Learn to play your class, noob. Anyway, um, improved block. Eventually, you'll get improved block, which increases the amount blocked by your shield by an additional 10%. Improved consecration, more damage by 100%. Improved crusader strike, more damage by 20%. Improved divine protection. This is really cool. Divine protection reduces magical damage taken by an additional 10%. So now it's a total of 50, whereas right now on MOP, it's 40 so, you know, the more damage, uh, magical damage mitigation, the better. I mean, they took out our Devo Aura, so now we can just use Divine Protection on their, our little one-minute cooldown. Improved Forbearance reduces the duration of Forbearance by 30 seconds. So, before it would be a minute, now it's 30 seconds, as you can see in the upper right-hand corner. Improved Hammer of the Righteous, 20% uh, da more damage done. This is actually going to help us for AoE tanking, because Prop Paladin was, like, the weakest AoE tank you could possibly see in MOP compared to the other tanks, of course. Improved Judgment, 20% more damage. Uh, improved Word of Glory, 20% uh, uh, more healing done. Uh, and the initial healing done by Eternal Flame by 20%. And then, obviously, you can look at your talents and put them on your bars. So, not much has changed. Um, you get your empowered abilities. Uh, everything does more damage. It's probably the same for every tank class. Uh, we don't have no more wings. We have no more Devo Aura. Um, our Seal of Insight has changed. I believe on live right now, you get like 10% more attack speed with Seal of Insight, but now it's just basically increasing healing down by 5% and giving melee attacks a chance to heal you for 2,000. By the way, yes, there is an item squish. I know through this entire conversation, you're probably thinking to yourself as you're watching this video, Tally, talk about the goddamn squish. Why is your HP not a million? And I'm like, okay, well, it's not a million because there's an item squish. Item squish is basically where they kind of scale down everyone's statistics. So we're right now with this HP, we're basically like in Cataclysm. We should be in Birdie Crusade, I believe. So I don't think they're done with the item squish. I think they're just testing numbers. By the way, this is PvP gear that I'm wearing. Uh, at level 100, the item level is 660. Okay, so this might be the maximum we could ever get. Now, if this is the numbers that we're going to see for live... Uh, Warlords of Drain, or then we might just be going right back to Siege of Orgrimmar, because with some of the bear tanking skills, you could probably get yourself to a million HP after you pop some cooldowns uh, in, in, you know, best in slot gear. Not exactly sure. So, let's take a look at our level 100 abilities as a prop paladin. Or as a paladin, in general. So, we have Empowered Seals. These are all passives based on which seal you use. So, your seals also cause your judgment to empower you with an additional beneficial effect, which persists through changing seals. So, Judgment of Justice, which I don't even know where the hell that is. I don't see that on my bars. I've been trying to see how it happens. <laughs> Increases your movement uh, speed by 20% for 20 seconds. I'm not sure where that is exactly. I'm trying to find it, but I still have my three seals. Anyway, Judgment of Insight. That's basically when you're using Seal of Insight. Heals you for 3% of your maximum health every 2 seconds for 20 seconds. Uh, righteousness. Increases your attack speed by 30% for 20 seconds. Wait for AoE tanking. I guess you could seal switch for AoE tanking. That might be better than Truth or Insight. Uh, Judgment of Truth increases your attack power by 15% for 20 seconds. Now, I'm still not sure which seal we're going to be using as prop paladins. I'm assuming for raids, it should probably be Insight. Maybe just for dungeons and heroics and stuff and fucking around. It'll probably be Truth. PvP, obviously, it'll be Truth. Um, so we'll see what happens. I mean, maybe we might go back to seal switching, which is exciting. Uh, Seraphim. Seraphim I like. This is this is an ultimate PvP ability. The light temporarily magnifies your power, increasing your haste, critical strike, mastery, multi-strike, versatility, and bonus armor from gear by 30% for 10 seconds. Now, this is a good PvP ability. I'm currently using this right now in my duels. Basically, uh, you have to use 5 holy power, which is the max you can get. Get your holy power, pop that, pop holy avenger, and go ham. Thank you. Oh, it's back, baby. Oh, but it's not like an ability you can hit. It's passive. Dude, I miss Holy Shield. Have you prots missed Holy Shield? I've missed Holy Shield. You should, too. Increases your block chance by 10% and allows you to block spells. Uh, that's the key one right there. Allows you to block spells. So that could be crazy. So, I'm, I mean, I'm, I don't know if I can actually block like a, like a, like a Frost Bolt from a pvp -er or something I, i'm gonna have to test that out because if i could i mean i don't know if you can already block frost bolts and lances and shit like that i have no clue you guys tell me but if you can block spells that'd be wonderful and not just melee attacks additionally when you block you deal 23 24 holy damage to your attacker so that's really good that's like that reactive damage that we used to love about holy shield 
you know, back in the day, we would pop Holy Shield, and even in PvP, you know, a rogue would hit you, they'd be taking damage, and they'd piss them off. I want that to happen again. This is what I say to rogues. Ah! Anyway. So, um, out of these three, for PvP, I'd probably go Seraphim. Uh, for tanking in raids, I'd probably go Holy Shield, because that's really amazing. If that spells is what I think it is. So it's kind of like, you know, shield barrier for warriors. Except I can have it up all the time. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I think that basically, that basically covers... Oh, yes. Abilities. <clears throat> I forgot to tell you. So, with prop paladin tanking in Warlords of Draenor, we no longer have dodge or parry on our gear. We basically have, like, default dodge chance, which is base. Uh, and base parry. I mean, I might have parry right now because of the strength that I have. Because I'm pretty sure strength still equals... Um, sniffles. I believe strength still equals uh, parry. So that may be why. Like, where can I find... Anyone see strength? Am I, like, not looking at it right? Uh, whatever. So I'm assuming that happens because of the strength gear that I have. I could only assume at this moment. So um, we no longer have hitter expertise, which is great. We no longer have to worry about, you know, being behind the boss, in front of the boss, or blah, blah, blah. Now it's just, you know, whatever. We can just hit the son of a bitch, and then we're done. Um, now, there's all these enhancements. Now, when you're in raids or you're in dungeon dungeons, some gear may actually come with certain statistics attached to it. Um, where can I show you this? I think I have... Hmm... I want to say, hold on, let me log on another character. Well, first let me tell you what these new um, enhancements are. So you have a chance to get enhancements on your gear. This is totally RNG. So I don't think you can actually farm a piece of gear and get, let's say, multi-strike or whatever. I think it just comes with it and then you roll with your guild or whatever. So what we have here is obviously crit chance, haste, mastery spirit. Now we have bonus armor. That could also come on your gear. Multi-strike, I have some... Um, I have multi-strike on some of my gear right now for PvP. Multi-strike reads as grants two 8.39% chances to deliver extra attacks or heals of 30% of normal value on each target. So I think that's basically what it means is your auto attacks just hit two more times when it procs. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm not really too keen on multi-strike, but that, that's what it reads like to me. Uh, readiness uh, protection increases the cooldown recovery rate by whatever percent if you have it. On your Hand of Protection, Divine Shield, Avenging Wrath, fuck you, Divine Protection, Guarding the Ancient Kings, and Ardent Defender abilities. So, readiness could be uh, something that we would want on our gear for tanking. Because if we can lower the cooldown of all of our, like, you know, key cooldowns, that'd be great. If I can get Ardent, you know, Ardent Defender from three minutes to a minute and a half, or Guardian from three minutes to a minute, that'd be insane. You'd have to have RNG, though. Now, Leech. <laughs> Returns damage and healing you deal as healing to you. So, read it again. Returns damage and healing you deal as healing to yourself. So, it's like leeching. You know, just like a, I guess, a warlock. Sturdiness. Reduces durability, durability loss from death on your items. I don't think anyone cares about that. Just fucking repair. And then versatility, which... I don't know. This seems like a specific PvP statistic. Because it's on, it's on most of my PvP gear. And this sounds pretty insane when I just read it off. Uh, increases damage and healing done by 52% and decreases damage taken by 22%. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, if versatility comes on proc gear or any gear in raiding, I'll take it. You know, because that damage reduction is insane. But that's because most of my PvP gear has versatility on it. I made sure because it, it, it's awesome. Like, you barely take any damage as a prop paladin in PvP. So, so those are the enhancements you get. Now, when it comes to gemming or enchanting, I have not seen any gear with enchantments. I've seen some gear drop with gems and some don't drop with gems. It's, like, weird. Uh, let me see if I can find out which character I had that um, had gear drop. It might have been... might have been Teldi Sun. Yeah, I was tanking with Warglaives because when you tank in the level 100 dungeons, it scales up. So it's pretty fucking cool. Um, let me check my bags. It might have been him who has it. Is he equipped? Maybe he has it equipped. God damn it. Who who had the gear? Oh, man. Hold on. It'll give me a second here, folks. Don't worry. Don't worry, YouTubers or YouTube viewers of America. I will find this. I swear to you, I will. My liege. One of these guys must have... Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, Login. Good. Um... 
So this is some of the gear that's been dropping, but I don't see the ones that I'm trying to show you guys. Um, oh man, now I gotta go through like every character just to see who the hell has it. But it's like, so basically like the the, the drops with the extra enhancements are just RNG, which is, it kind of makes it interesting for tanking or for DPS. Cause I mean, maybe some DPS will prioritize like a, like leech over readiness and tanks will be like, all right, well I want this gear with readiness. I mean, I'm not ready to explain to you guys how the whole gear thing works. Cause it's totally confusing even to me. Uh, I want to say maybe it was Trolly. Might have been Trolly. Trolly's my bear tank. He's amazing. I love him. Uh, let's see. Might have been. Uh, he might be wearing it right now. Is he wearing it? Uh, no, he's not. God damn it! And again, yeah, this is like one of those you could just play the Benny Hill music in the background if you guys want. Yeah. By the way, I'm using OBS to record this video, so uh, I kind of like doing that, like recording with OBS has become something really easy for me instead of using fraps I could just use my current setup with my microphone and everything and just you know kind of just act like I'm streaming but I'm not streaming yeah I talk to myself a lot uh man uh maybe it was Cowley might have been Cowley don't think it was Cowley dark meat maybe it might have been Rick Roll. maybe it was my death knight let's check out my death knight yeah I have one of every tank right now so yeah but I'll be okay um, oh, oh, I think it was him. Yes, here we go. No, what the fuck? God damn it. But anyway, you can see how on this gear, um, I got avoidance as a statistic. Um, it was like plus 21 avoidance. So with avoidance, you would think it's like dodge and parry, but it's not. If you look under defenses, avoidance says reduces damage taken from area of effect spells. Um, so I guess that that's basically like any AOE damage, like when you face a Merciless and he does that explosion, or uh, Calamity from the Protectors, or Shav Pride with that swelling corruption explosion shit. I don't know, man. You know what? I have no idea who the hell got the goddamn gem, but random gear drops with gem slots. I think I don't think any gear comes with it. I think it just has a chance to have a gem slot on it. Unless it's static, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I mean, I, I'm going to do my best to try and make one for each tank. Uh, just to give you guys, you know, updates on what's going on with uh, each of the tanks. And uh, for right now, I mean, Prop Paladin, if I were to give it a grade, man, I'd, I'd probably give it like a C or something. Because, I don't know, I'm just not, I'm, I'm not impressed. Like, you know what, like, they, they, oh, there it is. There you go, Skullcracker Cloak. Uh, prismatic slot so some gear drops with it some doesn't but anyway but right now I'm not really too impressed with the protection paladins not much has changed they took off two abilities that I love dearly for tanking that made me you know made people want to bring you to raid but you know I'm, I, I get taken to raid regardless um, but in general um, yeah like losing avenging wrath and losing um, diva aura sucks but the whole prop paladin pvp is looking pretty good so i might be maybe raiding on my brewmaster and pvping on my prop paladin so um leave uh, in the comments leave me which tank you want to see next okay say which tank do you want to see next uh a little review of and i'll, I'll do that as my next video I'm, I'm doing a little bit more youtube action lately i got a little bit more free time here and there so i'm trying my best to make videos kind of like i used to tgn style but not tgn style because no one's been on a tgn website for like two years so anyway i'm ready with archie peace out let me give you a, a torn wave torn wave hold on torn waves are way better than like any other wave where is it wave wave god damn what the fucking stupid drag get this son of a bitch he did that on purpose too probably knowing it was me wave there we go yay bye and don't forget to check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Towley. I'm doing all of my uh, Draenor video. I'm kind of sharing my time between Draenor and Wildstar at the moment. Uh, Twitter.com um, slash Tank, Facebook.com slash Towley. And a uh, bunch of sponsor info, sellout mode in my info if you'd like. And uh, yeah, also if you guys want to get Warlords of Draenor cheap and you're European, I have a nice G2A.com link that I can put in my description. If you want it, let me know in the comments. If you don't, I'm not going to force it on people. I'm just the kind of guy that likes to get your shit cheap. Can I can I give like a deceiving? Hold on, I think Shy is really cool too. Hold on, look at Shy. Look at Shy. <laughs> oh my god, he's so shy. 
He's like, girl, I want a butter your cornbread. Uh, peace. <laughs>